Hello, Reformers, and welcome back to Gecko Kujo. Now, as you can see, I have made myself a strategist of the Beartilled Clan, and I have sent word to our vassals. As you can see, we have Lord Sesai, Shijioki, and Goemon with us, and we will march upon the last remaining Urakami strongholds. Now, what I have been actually waiting for is a few recruiters to actually garrison Himeji because what I have done is I have moved my court to Himeji and I've given it to myself of course and I just thought that would be a little easier to actually maneuver around this area right here now the one thing that I do want to do and make sure that we do is to take as many of these Miyoshi clan strongholds as we potentially could in the next few episodes because as far as I know they actually own a very large portion of this territory as you can see here look at that wow they have been rather busy as you can see the Oda clan doesn't even have well they actually draw I think no no the Oda clan is still larger but still quite impressive anyway from the Miyoshi clan right there <laughs> okay so as you can see I have sent out four recruiters as well and they will be returning. Already the Miyoshi recruiter has returned and given us 50 of their recruits. Very nice. 112 already there. Oh yes, before I had to actually leave Imeji, I do want to send out a patrol. Let's see if we can actually do that now because when I went here before it said zero days remaining for that. So we should be able to do it now. Yes, we should. Thank you very much. Okay, we will go for a big patrol. And we will send it to Himeji. Yes. Now, I'm not entirely sure whether this patrol would be more useful being a patrol, or whether it would be more useful in the garrison. Hmm. I think it will be more useful in the garrison. Let's do that. Yes. Thank you very much. Okay, that's very nice. Okay, so there we are. Now let us head to Akashi Castle, and we will attempt... To capture it. Oh my, they actually have a rather large contingent of forces here. Am I all fully regenerated? Yes, I believe we are. I have been waiting at Himeji for quite some time, so we could gain back our full HP and our strength, and we will now be going in. Let's do it. Yes, all of my vassals are joining us. Very nice indeed. And so, George will now batter down the gates. And we will hopefully be able to take this before I lose all of my forces due to morale issues. That might be a good idea. Yes, there we go. Okay, now let us lead our soldiers in an assault. Oh, yes. Oh, very nice. I like this backdrop quite a lot as you can see very nice horizon right over there oh yes okay so I think we may actually want to try out our bow a little bit here considering hmm, maybe not <laughs> might be a little bit ill-advised but it would be quite nice to weaken them before we actually get over there now as far as I am aware I'm hitting them but maybe the chat box is a little bit bugged out at the moment maybe it is not showing the text at the moment we'll see because I just lost a lot of units so it might be the case that we cannot see it at the moment because I assumed I was actually hitting them from over there because they seem to be flinching every time an arrow hit them so I can only hope at least <laughs> otherwise I'm imagining things okay well Let's do it, my vassals. Ah, there we are. The text box is now back. Thank you very much. Kaguya is going on a killing spree, which is always nice to see. Oh, yes. Ow. How dare you? You have a relatively similar sword to me. How dare you use it against me? Yes. Okay, well, let's just help this fellow over here. Make sure he doesn't get taken out. Who is this? Oh, veteran Ronin. He looks like one of our vassals. I thought we may have to assist him. Ah, there is Lord Sasai right there. Very nice gear he's using as well. A bright blue color. Okay. Oh, now we just have to clear out the archery nest and we should be able to then proceed further into the castle. 
Now, let's just make sure that we're not being flanked. Oh, I may want to go over here with this very small commando unit and advance on the enemy's positions a little bit faster than the other forces that we currently have under our command. Now, it would be a good idea if I could actually hit stuff, wouldn't it? Yes. Okay, there we are. Not bad at all. Okay, be careful. We do not want to be singled out, as we are currently having issues with. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, block that and then take out the swordsman. Yes, thank you very much. Okay, that's fine. There we go. All I needed to do was take out the swordsman because he was the one interrupting me all of the time, as he had a lot of damage under his belt. As he had a lot of damage up his sleeve. That is not very nice of him at all. And now this fellow is attempting to shoot us. We will take him down, though, or my forces will. And I will attempt to support us with a little bit of archery. No. Yes, there we are. That's much better. Okay, there we go. So we do now actually see our damage. Thank you very much. Let's get some headshots, maybe, so I could save some arrows. That might be nice. Yes, there we are. Nice headshot right there. And... That is the only one. Wonderful. Headshots are as rare as dragons, by the looks of things. Okay, take that one down. Yes, there we go. Okay, well, I think we should probably get into the fray now, and hopefully reduce the amount of casualties we're currently sustaining. Wow, that is rather extravagant, I have to say. I was hoping we wouldn't actually get stuck behind a bottleneck, but it seems we are suffering just that. Okay, come on, let's get through. Yes, good work, Bruce. Okay, now, take out this fellow and then flank them from behind. That's the best we can, at least. There we go. Oh my goodness, there's so many units. I'm getting confused which one is ours. <laughs> okay, there we are. Not too bad. Take out that guy if we can. Thank you very much. I wouldn't mind if Bruce actually leveled up again. That might be quite nice. Ah, oh, I am terrible with using these horizontal slashes. I just have to continue with the overheads, by the looks of things, at least. I may have to practice a little bit, actually, with the horizontals, so maybe I should continue with that. Wow, that guy really hit me hard. Four damage, but still. It seemed as though it carried quite a lot of force behind it. Okay, so let's actually take a look at how many we've lost so far. Okay, not too bad at all. Our allies have lost a little more, but nothing really we should worry about too much, I suppose. They can regenerate their armies rather sufficiently. And, oh my, this is not pleasant, as you can probably see by all of the arrows streaming into our unit's bodies. Oh no. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Just relax, be calm, and realize that the room I am currently sitting in is exceedingly warm. As it is obviously becoming summer now, and having a PC on in a non-ventilated room is exceedingly good. <laughs> I'm sure you guys know what I'm talking about, considering you probably all own PCs. And, oh my, yes. We most likely need to take these guys out. Come on. Whoa. A lot of arrows on the floor here. That is for sure. There we are. Very nice. Good work, everyone. Wow. And Kaguya stayed alive and got a sufficient amount of kills as well. That is rather rare, considering she usually gets taken out because of her overzealousness. Oh, we actually lost Goemon and Lord Shijioki. They both got taken out. Well... I suppose they did the best they could, and they probably took out quite a few in the process, which is always a good thing. Okay, well, I think, considering the Urakami clan is about to be dissolved, I will let him go, and then we may indeed be able to tempt him to the dark side. I mean, the good light side of virtues and <laughs> rainbows. That's the way to do it. Okay, so let's just take as many as we possibly can from the rescued prisoners. There we go. Very nice indeed. And 
I think we can probably take all of the enemies as well. Even though I don't think we actually have to, because considering we are with vassals, I believe they would actually take the prisoners for us, which would be rather nice, actually. I probably will do that with the next siege. Okay, let's see now. I don't believe anyone will take any items, but we'll take some to sell. And who leveled up? I believe we did. Oh yes, that is amazing. Okay, I am very pleased with that. I was just saying that I wanted to actually level Bruce up, so that is great. I believe the next fief was going to Lord Shijioki, so we will give that to him. Yes, he was the lowest in relation, and I believe now Lord Gonosuke could probably use one. So I suppose the next castle will be going to him. Okay, there we go. Lord Shijioki. You see the banner of your friend. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Well, there we are. 47 units he placed in there. Very nice. And we still have all of our vassals with us, which is great. So, before we head on, I will level up a few of our units and then we'll go and see what Bruce can actually level up. That will be quite exciting, as he has not leveled up in quite some time. Let's see here. Okay, so, what do we want to spec into? Hmm. Well, there is a rather clear message right here. We could level up Power Strike and Iron Flesh once again if I increase my intelligence by one more point. And that wouldn't be all bad because then we would be closer to getting more points in pathfinding tactics and inventory management. So that's not too bad, I suppose. What else could we spec into? That is the thing. Hmm. I mean, persuasion? Persuasion, I'm not entirely sure whether that's useful. Okay, I think what I'll do, one in intelligence, and we'll put one in persuasion, and one in power strike. I think that will be quite nice. And then we'll go for one-handed weapons a little bit, and that will be it. Okay, so how long until the next level? Oh my. Around 100,000 XP. Okay. Let's get down to that right away, and we'll hopefully be able to get there without too much trouble. Oh no! Our recruiter, who was commissioned to recruit 50 recruits to Okayama, has been defeated. That's not too nice, is it? Oh my goodness. Okay, well, we have a few Urakami vassals here. I don't think they will pose too much threat. So, hmm. Actually, I would like to take them down, because if we take this, it would actually take quite some time unless they defect for us to be able to dissolve the Urakami clan, so, hmm. Either could chase them down and finish them off and then take the castle, or take the castle now and then chase them down, but we could lose them, so I think we'll chase them down now and then we'll try to take the castle rather soon, or at least I hope so. Come on, guys. Oh, we really need to catch up, come on. Come on, vassals. Oh no. I'm gonna have to go in here by myself, aren't I? Because these guys are going to be too slow to actually catch up. Okay, well, I will go in by myself. They are exceedingly outnumbered, so I don't think we should have too many issues. And this guy is hating us, no doubt. When last we met, you had me at your mercy and allowed me to go free. I hope you enjoyed toying with me like a cat with a mouse, because soon I will have you at my mercy to slay or humiliate according to my fancy. Well, ouch. <laughs> that hurts. Okay, well, I suppose we will be taking him down. As, obviously, we do outnumber him. I was hoping to take two out in one fell swoop, but unfortunately, the other one decided to split off in the opposite direction, which is never a good thing. Okay, so let's just place the flag here. I don't really want our cavalry to run in there and die immediately, so it would be quite nice if our infantry could potentially catch up. Oh yes, okay, so I'm just going to try a little bit of archery here, and we'll see whether I can actually... What? What is going on here? <laughs> Something was going weird with my keyboard right there. Okay, we're fine. Oh, did I actually hit that guy? No, I don't think so. It would be good if I could actually hit something, wouldn't it? There we are, nice shot, or, yeah, lucky shot. 
should we say. <laughs> okay, well, let's charge in anyway. And we will use our Naganata to do serious amounts of damage. Yes, there we are. Not too bad. And my horse did some damage with its charging abilities. Power Strike is not doing too bad a job, I must say. 73 damage with a 91% speed bonus. It's always nice to do that little bit extra damage. And there we are. The last unit was taken down and hopefully that guy will then somewhat teleport himself to the last castle and then we should be able to take them out all at the same time. And then the Urukami clan will be dissolved once and for all, which will be fine with me. So, now we will charge after the other vassal in this direction. Here he is. I'm actually hoping that one of my vassals can potentially take him out. So that they can gain a few prisoners themselves. Because I am running out of space at the moment. Wow, is this guy actually faster than me? No, he's not faster than me. How can I not catch up to him then? What's going on here? Ah, ooh, we are catching up and I do actually need to get into combat because as you can see, I'm having morale issues. So let's go in there and attempt to take him down. There we go, okay. Oh, okay, well he's not too bad as you can see. He has a positive relation with us, which is fine with me. Okay, 31, yet again. I'm actually hoping to get a rather considerable cavalry force once we start taking the Takata fiefs, because from what I can tell, Takata have some rather good cavalry units. So it would be quite nice if we would have the advantage in a field battle for once, because from what I can tell, having a rather... Major infantry is never a good thing because then you are incredibly slow and your mobility is reduced rather dramatically, which is never good. But yeah, I suppose we're doing fine, but that is only because we outnumber them, I suppose. So yeah, as I say, I would like to, for at least field battles, start getting a lot of cavalry. That would be nice because if you can imagine right now, all of these units, well, most of these units, would be cavalry we would be charging in there already and we probably would have won already so you can kind of imagine the effectiveness of the Takata cavalry unit but anyway we will charge in I will charge my cavalry in first will I no I don't think so let's actually just hold position with them okay never mind they seem to be doing quite a lot of damage so we'll just let them continue their slaughtering and it seems as though Kaguya is actually doing a very nice job as well on her horse. I believe she has a horse at least. And let's try and protect as many of our dismounted cavalry units as possible because of course horses die a lot faster than actual units. And there we are. Yes, that was incredibly easy of course. But it is all a means to an end, I suppose. Because if there are stray vassals around like we have currently shown with the Chosokabe clan because I believe we have to find one or two of their vassals and defeat them and then the clan will be dissolved because it is still actually active and that's rather a terrible shame really because it would be quite nice to actually know that they are out of the game once and for all but yes let's actually just take a look at our faction relations and as you can see the Chosokabe clan are still here and they have war with the Amako clan but I don't believe that makes any difference considering the Amako clan is very far away from the Chosokabe or where they were at least because the Chosokabe were around here weren't they so the Amako clan is all the way up here and I don't believe oh no that's the Mogami clan where's the Amako clan I think this is them no Date clan? Wow, is the Amoko clan also dissolved? Or apparently it has taken quite a few losses? Unless this is the light blue one. 
No. <laughs> I suppose they have been taken out, from what I can tell, because... Yeah, they used to be up here, I believe. So it seems they've been taken out, unless this is them. No? Wow, okay. Well, it seems as though the Amico clan has also been taken down, but their vassals, again, are running around and causing them to not be dissolved. They need to be defeated for that to occur. And here is the last vassal which we will be able to take down, so let's do it. And Lord Sasai is actually joining us, which is very, very good, so that we don't have to actually take any more prisoners, because I am currently full. Well, I'm two units away from being full, but still. It would be quite nice if we could allow him to take some and mm, I was going to attempt to persuade him but that is unfortunate okay well we have 241 I think Lord Sasai is probably going to be doing quite a good job in this particular situation so I don't think we have to worry too much I would have liked if Lord Sasai just went in by himself because it would offer his forces a lot more advantages than mine, I believe. Now, how many cavalry do we have? Five. And a few allied cavalry units. Okay. Well, not too bad, I suppose. But yes, I was hoping for something different, of course. Now, let's just actually take a look here. We have a very distinct advantage. If only we had some archers. We do have 18 of them, but I don't believe... They're going to be that effective, considering the range of the enemy forces right now are so close that it might as well be a few feet away. So, let's charge them, everyone. Let's do it. Yes, come on. The Naganata is power. Oh, yes. There we go. And now let's just make sure that none of these stragglers decide to retreat, because... It is never a good thing to have routing enemies. Maybe? Oh, nope, there we are. And anyone else? Oh, they're being chased down, and that is it, the last kill. There we go, very nice, okay. So, yes, we took him down. He escaped, which is unfortunate, but I will let these captured enemies go to Lord Sasai. There we go. So as you can see, he now has six prisoners. They are the prisoners that, of course, we left for him. So that's pretty cool. And I suppose now we will head back to Sasayama Castle to hopefully be able to take it. Oh, yes. Here we go. How many do they actually have? Oh, my. Okay, so it seems as though we are gaining 31,000 mon each week. As you can see. Whoa. Okay. Tax inefficiency. That is hurting us like hell. Okay, we may actually have to modify our domestic policies a little bit to increase, or should I say decrease, the tax inefficiency. That would be very nice. Although, as you can see in the treasury, we currently have 212,000. So I'm not entirely sure whether we even need to reduce the amount of taxes. Not entirely sure whether we even need to reduce the amount of tax inefficiency because at the moment we are just gaining so much there really isn't anything to worry about, I suppose. Nagasaki! Whoa! Nagasaki is giving us 13,000! Where is that? I need to protect that place, that is for sure. Let's actually take a look here and make sure I'm not getting it sieged or anything. Nagasaki is all the way down there! Oh, yes! Okay, well, that's never going to be sieged, so we should be completely fine with our economy for quite some time. Oh, yes. Okay, well, as you can see, we do have around 260, 270 units here, and we will be going in.